Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and today we've got a bottle of Land of Rice and Honey Saison by Red Racer and Half Pints Brewing out of Manitoba. I believe they're actually based out of Winnipeg in Manitoba. Saison. There's a good chance this is going to be the least favorite of the beers of the 12 pack of the across the nation collaboration. But, you know, we're doing it. So let's go, let's do it. Crack her open. I'm not gonna bitch out. No, let's see what we got. I'm assuming that it's going to be somewhat clear until we get near the bottom, which then we're going to give it a little swish. You can see there it's not overly cloudy. I believe it's about to become pretty cloudy. Not actually that much. Not as much as I thought. Let's get a picture. Yeah, she's definitely hazy, but not quite as hazy as I thought it would become after I poured in the bottom. I don't see... Nothing really remains in the bottle. I don't... No, not really. I can see all the way down and through. Doesn't smell super yeasty, actually. The yeast smell has a bit of a honey aroma to it. That's somewhat promising. Let's give her a shot. Interesting. Saison. Overall, the honey kind of comes through and kind of balances out that yeast flavor a little bit, which for my palate is a very good thing. Come to think of it, why are you over there? What is happening? My computer just had a small seizure. Red Racer Beer. Dot com will bring you to redracerbeer.com and if you're in the Surrey, British Columbia area, I believe. Yep, Surrey, BC, Canada. V3ROC2. I guess it'd be 032. C2, not 32. It's a postal code that I can't read apparently. <laughs> yep, good times. And if you go to half, is it half pints brewing? Half pint brewing, half pint pints. Half pints brewing.com damn it you will find halfpintsbrewing.com and like i said i'm pretty sure they're out of winnipeg it says right here winnipeg manitoba so yeah 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 never had anything by them before let's do this cheers everybody the sweetness is the saving grace for this beer in my mouth's opinion it's like back of the tongue, not quite back of the throat, but that general back of the mouth area, just, it's nice. It's quite nice, actually. Manitoba is home to rich farmland that produces everything from wild rice to wildflower honey. In this brew, both are used in a unique and locally inspired beer. 25 IBUs, 5.8% alcohol. And once again, I'm expecting a package date. Yep. And then this one doesn't actually even say contains barley or wheat or anything. I wonder what the actual ingredients are. Like if they used rice, I almost think that this is made kind of like bud or something or that D Durham, Dur Durham Dam or whatever that other beer I had, the gluten-free one that wasn't gluten-free at all. No. Yeah. It's okay. It's still a saison, so it's still this still isn't a beer that I would voluntarily grab off the shelf if I was going to have some beers not to review type thing. Generally those beers are pretty much all IPAs this day. This day? These days? What the hell was that? 
my mouth just broke. <laughs> yeah. I may have had a couple mildly powerful IPAs before doing this vlog, so their effects could be kind of kicking in. But yeah, that has become kind of my beer style of choice. A nice, really hoppy, citrusy, tasty IPA. Although I still do love the super malty flavor, the only style that really this and kind of the wheat, some of the wheat beers, because they've still kind of got occasionally that yeasty tone to them. New Ontario Brewing here in North Bay is working on a wheat beer right now with blueberry juice in it. So, kind of excited to try that. I've actually got two other beers out right now in the fridge that need to be reviewed. That will happen. This really is surprisingly decent. Ratings for this beer. On Untapped, it says 25, yes, same IVUs, 3.39 out of 5, 1,048 ratings. And yeah, not bad. I appreciate it more than I actually like it. That is a good sentiment. I can kind of relate with that. I can very much appreciate what Red Racer beer was trying to do with this whole collaboration pack. Even though none of it is not in there, I don't know if the. Let me give one second. Is there, is there a brewery? in Nunavut. See if Google can answer this question for me. Nunavut Brewing Company. So let me just look for that then. Nunavut Brewery. Doesn't seem that they have a Facebook page. Let me check that out. Sorry, it's gonna be very exciting for you right now. I can understand, I know. It says it's a bar in I-Q-A-U, no, I-Q-A-L-U-I-T in Nunavut. How the hell do you pronounce that? I don't understand. Anyway, I don't know. I guess there maybe kind of was going to be, but there isn't really a brewery in Nunavut. Because, yeah, like I said, my whole overall thought that I just went off on a tangent, I can appreciate what you're doing here. Trying to kind of bring together, you know, all the provinces with your different beers and stuff, but I haven't been a big fan of most of the beers out of this it's a 12 pack, but I got it in two six packs. <sighs> Excuse me. Not really bad flavors there, but I don't know. Like, even, like I was saying, IPAs. Big fan. I'm still not a fan of your, the Red Racer IPA. I don't know. I really don't know. Feel like I don't know if someone like Bose or Sawdust City or Nickelbrook or a few others. Uh, those are probably like my top three right there. I love the beers that those guys make, and they're always making new stuff. But yeah, I feel like if one of those three breweries had done something along these lines, I don't know. I, I think they might be things I'd really like. I'm not sure though. I can't. I can't guarantee that. Nothing is guaranteed. Rate beer, 42 overall, 13 for the style. Yeah. Something seems to be missing. Decent, solid. Hefeweizens, decent, not a saison. 
I don't know about that. This has a Saison flavor to it, in my opinion. Uh, very quaffable. Quaff. Weird word. I don't know if anyone listens, watching, listening. You could be list, just listening and have the video off. It's possible. Anybody viewing the video right now, if you are in North Bay and you've heard New Ontario Brewing's radio ad for the uh, Shadfly Rattler, which is one of the ones I was speaking of earlier, needs to be reviewed. Re-reviewed, I think. I'm pretty sure I did it before. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah. I've got an ad on the radio. It's me. And I say quaff. Apparently quaff means an, alcohol, an alcoholic beverage. If you didn't know, then gl glad I could help you out. Drink never last. Before I do that, let's not fail there. Beer Advocate, 84, 12 ratings. And I'd pass if offered another. I might try one more if I was offered one more. But if it was the same overall experience and didn't really improve for me, then I probably would pass if offered number three. It's decent, just, I don't know. Red Racer with Half Pints Brewing Company. Your land of rice and honey stays on. Rating. Six point seven five. Probably I would have bumped it up to like that would make it. I uh, usually give a half point off, so that'd be a seven point two five. If you had some semblance of goddamn ingredients on your beer, that's one of the things I don't like about everything that I've had by you. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Like 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 I've said a bunch of times. Not in this vlog though. So this is the only time here. If you don't put your ingredients. It makes me think you're hiding something. Like, why Why aren't you putting your ingredients? Is there something going into the beer you don't want us to know about? That's the only reason to not put your ingredients on the beer. I can appreciate your packaged on date, but your ingredients... This one doesn't even say contains wheat and barley or anything like that. Bullshit. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me, put a comment or two in the box down below. I just changed it up randomly. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Delgin vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I believe there are three of these beers left in the fridge. One is a sour, one is a Keller beer, and one is a grisette or some weird style I've never had before. I don't know how to anticipate that one. <laughs>